the native garden is growing. Big variety of plants. Popo. Lemon trees. It's much better that people low in. Lawn mowing the front garden. Now the problem we have now is our pond. See? So covered by alga. Probably produced by. fertilizing around all the gardens including the country garden here so all the native fauna disappears it's gone toda la flora nativa patos pelicans like swans have disappeared Look like the alga is choking all the life. I would love for the botanists of the world what sort of alga it is. It's greenish, completely greenish. With some reddish tinges. As you can see, no ducks, no nothing. But there are a couple here trying to get some food. Only two ducks in the full pond. So they are migrating to other ponds with so much alga. And the alga, botanist of the world, you can identify what sort of alga it is, but uh, the young forest high students have been working in a lot of vegetation on the edges to minimize the pollution, but it doesn't look like it's working. <coughs> Only two ducks, three ducks, another one at the very bottom. So it doesn't look they, they are attracted to this pond as a feeding ground. Train goes all under this Bayswater Street. 
and then across the main road there and sits into another drain is past the Chishon, Chishon school. So we are waiting for another heavy rain. Let's see if it clears up the, clears up the pond. We are very privileged to be so near the city center here in Perth, in Bedford, and having this pond and living so close to nature. Okay. The fashion here in Perth now is having easy mortgages with worthless money, so people overcommit themselves into big houses. How are they? manage to pay the huge mortgages, that's the problem. No? Probably that house there will be one million dollars now, recently built, and they kept the full block, nearly 800 meters, square meters, which is very unusual. Normally, all the blocks now are subdivided, in some cases, into three blocks, normally into two blocks. Okay. Hasta la vista, amigos. Let's go for the next finds.